Hey Pod Squad, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about me and how great I am. All right, so today is uh, number two in my vesticle series, and uh, we're going to talk about my Attitude Era vest. Uh, I talk a little bit about myself and my brothers and my adventures as a fan in 1998, 1999. So I also got new equipment. So I know my background kind of slides around a little. I know my camera kind of struggles to focus sometimes, but listen, this is all very new. Um, hang in there. I'll get better. I promise. I, I just need practice. So, uh, that's just a little public service announcement. We're gonna, we're gonna have a lot of fun, uh, twice because this is going to get split into two. But hang in there, because number two has the big finale. This this isn't going to be as, like, cuckoo bananas as uh, the Undertaker vest video, which you should go watch if you haven't. It's so much fun. But I, I talk a lot about myself, and you're going to see some of my artwork, and you're going to just get to peek into the mind of the Mrs. Meanie, I guess. So <laughs> hang in there. We're going to have a good time. I, we're going to land on our feet. So, point your chin. Go. <laughs> Mind of the meanie, Mrs. Meanie, run and Tracy Roots got something to say. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so, uh, today we're going to talk about my Attitude Era vest. We're going to talk about um, me, of course. Um, I was a fan, 1998, 1999, that was my little window. I was in middle school. So I have four older brothers. I'm the youngest, I'm the only girl. Um, by the time I became a wrestling fan, my brothers had already been into it and out of it. They were Hogan era, they were 80s, 90s wrestling kids. And once the Attitude Era hit, it was such a big deal. Like, I got into it all by myself. Uh, a lot of things, you know, music-wise and TV, a, a lot of things that I was into uh, was influenced by my brothers. Wrestling, I got into all by myself. It just was there. Um, it, well, okay. So this, this Stone Cold t-shirt is actual vintage. Uh, I did get it when I was a kid. I lost it though. I lost a lot of clothes when I moved. Uh, when I moved to Philadelphia, my, my mother threw away a lot of my clothes and some things I had to get back. And this was something that my brother got this for me as a gift. He was not into wrestling. He really liked snakes though. And he saw this in the shirt store and was like, I have to get that for my sister. So he was so proud of himself and I love it and I had to replace it because it, it really meant a lot to me and I hated, you know, not having it. So this is technically uh, official, actual Tracy Root Vintage, even though it's not, I, I, I cheated and, and rebought it off of eBay. Speaking of buying things on eBay, uh, I decided to make this Attitude Era themed vest because that's what I know that's what I love. Uh, I looked for vintage things to put on my vest. Pins, uh, patches, whatever. The thing with vintage WWF merchandise is, uh, the majority is the big four. You're gonna find Stone Cold, The Undertaker, The Rock, and DX. Which, like, hooray all of those people. They are all my favorite. But... I wanted Luna. I wanted the oddities. I wanted the New Age Outlaws. Like there, there were people that just were very scarcely represented back then, and I, I needed to have these people a part of my vest. Technically, like everybody on the roster in ninety eight, ninety nine was so good. Like for real, there was no duds. Well, maybe. Was that? Is that your butt? No. 
wasn't. <laughs> the blue meanie, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so I'm talking. Shut up. Where were we? Everybody on the roster was awesome. Um, there's and there's still a lot more that I want to represent. Um, there's there might be glaring what's the word? Okay, so I know there's a lot of like glaring omissions. <laughs> That's the word. There are glaring omissions. Um, it's not done. There's a lot of things that just weren't right yet. Like, I have a vision. There's certain things that just, like, okay. I know that I need to put Chris Jericho on there. I have to have that, like, arms outstretched, sparkle shirt. Like, so he debuted WWF on my birthday. I was, like, out of my mind. I had no idea who that guy was. The countdown clock had been going for however long and it was like, knew it was gonna be a big thing. And then he shows up, the crowd goes nuts. Like biggest pop, you know what I mean? It was like, Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Anton John. Seriously, like, boom. I was excited because everybody else was excited. Uh, correction, I did know who he was. I watched Figure It Out on Nickelodeon, and there was a lot of wrestlers on that. And he was on it. I was like, oh, the guy with the ponytail. <laughs> I really want to represent that moment. I just need s the sparkliest sparkles that I can find. Because I just, just regular s sparkles will not do. Like, have you seen me? We gotta go sparkliest sparkles. For Y2J, we're gonna do it. So, so I did have to make a lot of my own art. I had to make, uh, I had to make do with a lot of things. Some things you're gonna find. Uh, I did like little winks. There really wasn't a lot of Owen Hart merchandise, and I definitely wanted to represent him. So, you'll see, like this, just, you know. Uh, a uh, heavy machinery oh heavy machinery uh not those guys <laughs> although I love them <laughs> you know it's a work safety patch I guess I don't know I just saw that and went there's my own heart that's what I want so when I started to do this I wanted I wanted gold dust and blue dust to be like the devil and angel on my shoulder. I thought that was so cute. Oh my God. So this is what I ended up with. So they're actually both angels. I wanna make sure that you can, I wanna make sure that you can hear me because this microphone uh, stinks. So they're both little angels. And I don't know I don't know if you can necessarily see it, but they are like shimmery. I, they, they sparkle, they shine. I love them. I love them so much. So, um, and these are all hand painted. This is hand painted separately. And then everything was tacked on. I keep looking at myself too. Everything was tacked on individually to make one piece. And I like that this, this, it's like uneven because he's a little fatty. <laughs> Come on, gold dust would fly higher. <laughs> but yeah, and this is my, so this is my own heart representation. Um, there's going to be things that are, are like, wink, like not outright that person. But when you look, you go, oh, that's what that is. So 
that's what that is. Uh, and I have this also on the back. That's a little, have a nice day. Uh, no, no good. That's my little mankind. Come on, isn't that so cute? Yeah, so, oh, uh, and all of this fabric, this was fabric that I bought and cut out into the shape of the seams and sewed it in. But that's fun, right? That's actual vintage. So my 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 one rule with this vest is I wanted single representation of wrestlers. So like if Stone Cold's on there once, that's enough for Stone Cold. Like I love him and I I could have like 20 different patches of him, but we're not going to do that, right? Um so also, it doesn't have to be vintage, but if there's a logo visible, I do not want the the WW. It's just, this is scratch logo only. No WW's invited. Okay, so this is, this is like really jingly too, because I have some keychains. Um, oh, I have some keychains hanging off of it. I have this. Here, wait, let's, we'll do that thing that the broads do, they go. Ah, to hell and back, spooky. Now, this was vintage, I got this off of eBay, um, and I think it's interesting because it's The Undertaker and it's red. Like, uh, the majority of Undertaker stuff was purple, and I think that this is interesting that it's red. Like, look at that. Isn't that fun? Yeah, so that's fun. I like that that's red. I thought that was uh, interesting. Oh, but this is a bottle opener. It's a whole thing. It's like a bottle opener. It's a Bev key made in Canada. So yeah, it's a bottle opener. It goes and it like either way you can screw top or pop top or whatever. Oh, and I think this is for, for can tabs. It's cool. It's fun. So there's that. Oh, oops. Hey, come back. Focus. There we are. Okay. So the other, where's the other dangly? The other dangly is, oh, you didn't know your at symbol hashtag dollar sign better call somebody quote the new age outlaws there we go and that's just uh there were things that just didn't exist and there were things that i knew that i needed to find and love the new age outlaws they had to make it on there it was very important anyway Let's talk about all of these really fun front things. So this fly is flying around too. It's ruining my life. Um, so there's certain things that I have personally, or we have, because the this first thing is is meanies, and we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna talk about this. So I I had this patch made. Um, Okay, so at some point, Al Snow had a little dog named Pepper, and Pepper went missing. Um, Pepper went missing, and Al made missing posters for this little tiny dog, and he put somebody's telephone number on these posters, and show them on live television twice. Val Venus. It was Val Venus. It's public knowledge. So we have one of those flyers. And I was like, how can I incorporate this such special like thing into this vest? I found a seller on eBay that does custom patches, custom printed patches. And... I sent them this photo and I said, 
this dog was an actor and it was never missing, which is all true, certainly, right? Uh, the dog was an actor and he was never actually missing. Please don't freak out. This is like 20 years old. <laughs> and they were like, LOL, no problem. And so this is the patch that I had made. Now I did change the telephone number. The, the, the telephone number is changed to protect the innocent. You can call that number. That is a real phone number that you can call that I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's a secret, but that's actually a thing. So anyway, I also got this little tiny chihuahua I got this little little chihuahua charm because the actual photo there's the actual photo let's the actual photo is so tiny that it doesn't you don't really know that you're looking at a dog so I decided to add that to it and I think that looks so super cute but that is an actual we have that I own that it's framed it is on the wall in the living room um <laughs> It is a, a screen use prop. Um, <laughs> and I knew that I needed to include it. So, and there's also on this side, there's not a lot on this side, but yet, but there's also, there's a little gangrel bloody goblet from one, two, three pins. Okay, so these are old, I got Kane and X-Pac, these are old, um, these are old lapeliers. See, and that's the thing too, with current enamel pin companies, lapel pin companies, they do a lot of limited runs. And so the pins that I show you and the shops that I tell you, check them out, but they might not have the, those pins anymore. Um, I've been working on this for a couple years and I've been collecting pins for a couple years. So take a peek. You might find something else you might be interested in. That's why I tell you of these stores, they are companies that I like that I shop with frequently, but you're going to find a lot of limited edition discontinued I, I'm also really good at falling in love with discontinued things um, <laughs> so I'm like oh I need to have that and it's like oh yeah that's from two years ago and you're an idiot have fun paying quadruple on eBay <clears throat> whatever anyway <laughs> speaking of I don't I don't even think I know what company that came from I saw it. I I think it was part of one of those crates or something. Like, I don't know. It was a limited edition. It doesn't exist. I had to get it from a reseller on eBay, which I don't really like to do for current products. If I can get it right from the company, I'm going to get it right from the company. I am the coupon code Coween, like for real. If you can get something from the company, get it from the company. Um... If they have an Etsy shop, follow the Etsy shop and or follow the product and Etsy will give you notifications if it goes on sale. Wait for a price drop if you want to, but like get it straight from the person that made it if you can. I prefer to buy at conventions and stuff because then I don't have to spend the money on shipping and I love giving money to people at conventions because I understand that like it takes money to make money and going to those things is not cheap um, or free so support your local small wrestling business <laughs> they need you they need you to survive all right I think we've had enough here so that's it for part one Stay tuned for part two. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notifications when I do my video run-ins. And that's that. Tracy Ruth had something to say.